Hello guys, welcome to TechBuzz. Some Android phones like Samsung phones have factory reset protection feature which will ask you to verify your Google account even if you reset it through any app forcefully or from the recovery and bypassing it is really hard. But today I'll show you how to bypass FRP lock on any Samsung phone in the easiest way. So let's get started. So for the FRP bypass, we will use PassFab Android Unlocker app. PassFab Android Unlocker can help you to unlock your Android phone and can also unlock some old Samsung phones without data loss. It can also help you to bypass Samsung FRP protection feature. It supports most of the Android phones including latest flagships like Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's available for both Windows and Mac PC. The link of the app is mentioned in the description below. You can check the details from the link. Although this app is not free but it's worth of every penny as you can use PassFab Android Unlocker to remove lock screen like fingerprint, pattern or normal pin numbers. It can also help you to bypass FRP protection feature on some phones like Samsung. And today I will bypass FRP lock on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. But you can use it on Samsung Galaxy S23 series as well. Before going ahead, make sure you are using the official and latest version of the app to avoid any issues. Now connect your Samsung phone to PC using the USB cable. On this page, select the Android version of your phone correctly as the application will show steps according to your Android version. And if you don't know the Android version of your phone, then click on don't know the OS version and the app will guide you. So my phone is on Android 10, so I have selected that. Now we will click on remove now. The app will give a reminder that your phone should be connected to Wi-Fi and should be on Google FRP lock page. Now just click start. Now the app will verify the phone model and will send a pop-up notification on your Samsung phone. Click view on the notification. It will open the Galaxy Store. If it asks you to update the Galaxy Store like it's showing on mine, then click on update and wait for it to install. If it doesn't ask for update, then you can follow the second and third steps shown on the screen. So once the store is updated, the phone is back to the Google FRP log page. Now on the PassFab app, go back to the OS selection screen, select proper OS version and then disconnect and connect your phone again. Now click remove now. On the pop-up click start. Now the app will again send a pop-up notification on your Samsung phone. Click view. So the Galaxy store has opened directly. Now install Samsung internet browser. If it asks you to sign in, then click on later. You can follow the steps that are shown on the screen. Wait for the app to install. Now click on open. Click on continue. Click on remind me later if it asks you to set Samsung internet browser as your default browser. In the search bar, enter the link that's being shown on the screen. Now click on open settings. Select pin and enter any pin of your choice. Make sure it's an easy one so you don't forget it later on. Verify it again. If it asks you for smart lock on body detection feature, click on skip. Since all the steps are now done, we will go back till we reach the connect to Wi-Fi page. The procedure may vary slightly depending on your phone model. So always follow the steps that are being shown by the app. Now click on next on the phone and then it will check for update. Now enter the pin that you had entered in the settings earlier. As you can see, it is asking to enter any new Google account. So the FRP bypass was successful. I'll add the new account later, so I'll click on skip. Now just set up your device by the regular method and if you had backed up your device earlier on the cloud, you can restore it once your phone has started so you will not lose any important data. The phone is back to home screen and it has wiped out all the data on my smartphone like images, apps, photos. But thankfully, as you can see in settings account section, it has successfully removed the Google ID that was there on the smartphone and has helped to bypass FRP lock. So using PassFab Android Unlocker, we have successfully bypassed the FRP lock on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus in just a few minutes. So now you don't need to visit the service center for the FRP lock issue. You can do it yourself easily using the remove Google lock feature of the PassFab Android Unlocker app. You can download the app from the PassFab Android Unlocker site. The link is mentioned in the description below. You can either buy a monthly, yearly or lifetime license as per your need. If you have any doubts regarding the PassFab Android Unlocker app, you can ask me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get updates on our new video uploads. Also, follow me on Instagram on techbuzz.insta page and techbuzz Facebook page. We will be back with another video soon. Till then, stay tuned.